name is Florence Markowitz, and thank you for visiting KLVW-TV this morning, today. Uh, my guest today is Furley Almonte, and I met her a few months ago at an LGBTQ meeting. It was chemistry at first sight, and we had a wonderful talk. She is inspirational, motivational, and everything else. And when she starts to talk, you'll know what I'm talking about. Hi, Furley. It's nice to have you here. Wow, what a thrill. I am deeply honored to be asked to be it's, on this show. It's Wonderful. our Thank honor. <laughs> it really is. So let's start with uh, little things like how long have you been living here and, and what brought you here and, and then we'll go on from there because there's a lot to go on from. Oh, tell me about it. Well, we're officially here in the village for two years now and it's absolutely fantastic because I feel like we're always on vacation in this place. We made amazing friends and um, the opportunities that actually also presented to me and my spouse, Christine, in this village and also within the neighborhood have been spectacular and I could not be more grateful. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I mean, I'm here much longer, but I still, every day, and, and I've met a lot of new friends recently uh -huh. that it's enhanced my life as you have. So tell me about yourself where you, how you got to where you are, uh, and the things that you do. I know you told me some of it when we talked alone, uh, by ourselves, but so now it's your turn. Ooh, where do I even begin? That, <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> that I, well, is a, I know, I put you on a spot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, because there's a lot of beautiful things that has happened in my life um, in this evolution. You know, first of all, you did ask why, what made us move. Um, well, I'm an a beautiful active adult <laughs> who was chosen to live in an active adult community where I could actually be able to serve people I'm most passionate about to serve, the seniors. And right now I am um, a realtor who specializes in active adult and retirement community. Aside from being a realtor, I'm also a motivational speaker. I'm an international best-selling author. I train corporations, people, um, and just uh, plain groups and individuals on image confidence and public speaking. I love being able to inspire people to ignite their light and find ways to live resilient and confident lives. I am a certified life coach and I'm an image consultant myself and I do a lot of different things that bring me joy and fulfillment and exuberance and that also includes singing with a doo-wop band oh i i heard <laughs> fairly sing i watched her sing and heard her sing and she's wonderful oh thank you yeah. so very much you're so kind no it's the truth <laughs> i i absolutely love it i enjoy music it just it's the language of the soul and if I could also incorporate music into my speaking, into my coaching, I find that to be totally exhilarating and quite frankly, a magical experience. Tell me something about life coaching because I'm not sure everybody knows that term yet. It's, it, it's fairly new. I know my daughter has had a life coach and mm -hmm. that was the first time I heard about what a life coach is. Thank you so much for asking. First of all, I Life, the life coaching industry kind of opened up to me when I was forced to reinvent myself. Um, by trade, I'm a respiratory therapist. Unfortunately, about 12 to 13 years ago, I was exposed to an occupational hazard that left me with a 40% permanent lung damage and severely disabled. For over 10 years, I could not work and I had to find a way to reinvent myself to be able to be more productive. I was not ready to check out. When, when the doctor told me that no amount of inhaler or medication can save me, I realized at that moment that I have to learn to live my life as though each day was my last and I wanted to find a way to live life meaningfully by helping others just like myself. Now, the funny part is when during the time that I was in despair, 
I prayed to God for another chance at life and another chance at love. And I didn't know a way to live that life purpose. And for some strange reason, Christine and I actually attended a networking event where they were actually raffling off life coaching oh. sessions. <laughs> they said, oh, $1,200, eight sessions. Like, it's, uh, you know what? I didn't yeah. even know what a life coach was, just like what you were yeah. saying. I had I no know, idea. That's why I know a lot of people here don't know. Yeah, and so I didn't know what a life coach was, but I wanted to win something, so I dropped my card, right? <laughs> and guess who wins? Ooh, God answered my prayer, so I ended up working with a life coach. Well, a life coach is not a psychiatrist or a counselor. What a life coach does is allow you to move from where you are in your life right now and help you get to where you want to achieve in your life, whether it be business, personal, relationships. A life coach will help you and keep you accountable week after week through your different sessions um, and keeping you open to different mindsets, to different frames of mind so you will be able to, to embark on different ways to achieve your goals that you know but that you cannot see it's almost like your third eye uh, it's your guide i call life coaches a beacon of light and so for me i have basically honed in and specialized on helping people live resilient life so for people who are in places of darkness in their lives, whether you were divorced, you were widowed, whether you were disabled, retired and have no place to go, or do not know what to do with the rest of your life, or somebody who just got laid off, for instance. Yeah. I help people find new beginnings. I help people open up their minds that there are different ways that you can live your life meaningfully, productively, and vibrantly. Yeah. That is what a life coach does. Uh -huh. And that's what you do, and you're full of that vibrancy <laughs> and, and resilience. You, you got there. Thank you. But was it through your life coach? that you got to where you are, that you... Well, my life coach, yeah, yeah, th th this is actually a great point because my life coach opened my eyes to finding another way to make a living because when you're, I'm from the Philippines, <laughs> every single Asian I think are in the healthcare profession, most of us at least. And of course, I could no longer practice being a respiratory therapist. I didn't know what to do. I just know that I needed a job to help provide for my family in the Philippines. And when that was taken away, I, I was not sure what to do, right? Mm -hmm. And my life coach asked me what I enjoy doing. I, I love making people look beautiful, I, helping them feel more confident. I love fashion, I love drawing, I love art. And I realized that all of that can be translated into image consulting and that's how I became a certified image consultant. I took a, a crash intensive course in New York. Mm -hmm. And so I realized, oh wow, this is so beautiful. Like it's so empowering to actually help people look confident, beautiful, and very well put together. But it's very easy to make them look great. But when I look into their eyes, I see that they're empty. I said, they don't light up from within. Yeah. And that was when I said, I need to fix what's inside first. Yes. I need to ignite that light. And so that's how I became also a life coach. So now I help people trans, you know, transform their lives inside and out. So everything is consistent. And I do that through my motivational speaking, through private coaching, through trainings on corporations, organizations as well, and also doing local events. One of my events, actually, I, I absolutely enjoy it called Look like a fashionista on recessionista budget. <laughs> I love that, right? Well, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't I have mean, to. I mean, recessionist you, bus, budget. <laughs> right? Because, you know, here's another point. I used to own over 500 pairs of shoes. I know, I know you're probably judging me right now. <laughs> you're probably saying, oh my gosh, what are you going Not to do? Not me. With them? <laughs> <laughs> so, I am a size six. It's the only part of my body that size a single digit. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so I owned a lot of shoes that I got on sale. Not some, many of them actually designer ones. However, when I became gravely ill, it became an eye-opener for me. My God, I said, what am I going to do with all of my shoes? I don't want to burden my family having to dispose of them, you know, if I die. And I, at that particular moment, I realized I have to invest on things that matter most to me. I still love fine things. I still love beautiful designer things. But I buy them on a budget and I buy them on outlet stores. And I don't mind even going to pre-loved you know, sites. Actually, that's a big thing right now. Even Macy's and JCPenney actually have pre-loved. They call it pre-loved instead of pre-owned. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. I, I so it's that. basically there are some gently used um, items that are designer labels, or it doesn't have to be designer labels. But if you'd like to be able to recycle them, and because, like, say for example, yeah. I am a celebrity. I speak internationally on different stages. I host fundraising events. I go to many networking meetings, and I don't really like you using the same clothes more than yeah. once or twice, right? And so it would be a good idea for me to sell my clothes. Um, and then at the same time, me also being able to enjoy other people's styles. And, you know, so it's almost like you're re recycling in a very, you know, mindful yeah. way that you're also helping the earth, you know? Yeah. And at the same time, your pocket, most of all. <laughs> so, right? So you don't have to spend a lot of money. You will, if you know how to dress for your body shape and if you know what colors to wear, and you know what styles and what brands actually fit your your body shape and your skin tone, you will find it's really very easy to look like a fashionista on recessionista budget. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love I, yeah. And I, I have mentioned to you earlier also, one of my signature coaching programs is called Unleash Your Bling. Unleash Your Bling. Bling, bling. <laughs> Actually, it's not, it's not the bling that we're wearing. Bling no, stands for boldly living in natural greatness. Yes, boldly living in natural greatness. Well, That's this bling. is bold for me because someone, a friend of it's mine, looked at it, a friend of mine looked at it and said, "You like that ring?" <laughs> No, it's gorgeous. It's a statement piece. It's, it's, it's I, I, I felt like having it, you know. Oh, by the way, for all of you ladies out there, if you're wearing a bling, like a big bling on the right finger, they, they're called the power ring. So if you want to wear like an engagement looking ring, you don't have to be engaged to anyone. They're actually, if you wear it on the right hand, they're called power rings. Oh, well, this is power all right. <laughs> All of, all of these little tips, yeah. I, I can't wait to share with you because I, um, I, I just had a very nice conversation with your um, um, program coordinator, and I could not be more thrilled that going forward, I will be having my own show right I think here. that's wonderful, and you're gonna, going to make everybody very happy. Yeah, yeah, I will be sharing different tips on fashion, on how to start over in life, um, for all of you out there who are single and ready to mingle, <laughs> um, I'm going to share different tips on how to find love again. Um, how do you transform your mind, your heart, and the way you look so you can attract the right people in your life? Um, I'm an author, you know that, right? Yes, I was going to get to those. Books. And one of the, th I love to write. And one of the things, you know, a few of the things that I actually write is that I write people's bio, resume. I also write online dating profile for all of you who are single and ready to mingle. And so I give people like a makeover and I rewrite their online dating profile so that they can begin to attract the right type of people into their lives. Tell me about some of the books that you've uh Authored. Oh, thank you. Um, so this three books that you see in here are actually the three anthologies. They're books that I have co-authored. The very first one is called Empowering Transformations for Women. Uh, this made it into Amazon bestseller in 10 different categories. This have stories of women 
who have overcome many difficulties and adversities in their lives, mm -hmm. and they teach people how to overcome their own. And my story about me bouncing back from my disability is featured in this you book. You did say it was 10 years of disability. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. It I was know. the most humbling time of my life. Okay. The second book was actually called Pure Genius. They featured 10 geniuses in this book, and I'm very, very honored um, to be, have been featured the genius on resilience. So I speak about the different ways people can live resilient lives in this book. Mm -hmm. It's called Pure Genius, Simple Solutions That Work to Light Up Your World. And the third book that I have co-authored um, and it's called Women Innovators, Leaders, Makers, and Givers. As a matter of fact, right in here on the cover, they have also featured my quote, and I will read it to you. A woman innovator is one fine badass lady who has an audacious trailblazing vision of a life-changing product of service who dared to take the massive inspired action and rock it like a boss. <laughs> <laughs> that is my description. I love all of these quotes. If you want to to read my personal quotes. Actually, I have a lot of them on Facebook. And um, actually, and this is my business card. I am a realtor with Exit Realty, Jersey Shore. Yeah. Whoops. All right. And, um, and I am, I have shared this with you. Yes. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm making a mess in here. No, you're not. Okay, I'll just lay it down. That's a good okay. idea. <laughs> um, one of the things that I'm very excited about is I'm launching my fourth book called, Do You Love Me Enough to Wipe My Ass? Yes, <laughs> you heard it right. Um, <laughs> it's a celebration. I, I so, you know, I, it, it resonates with me because I've gone through it. <laughs> yes, you, you know, many of us have different life stories. I understand that. I have been a patient. I have been a widow. And uh, I lost my spouse um, 10 years ago to pancreatic cancer within eight months of our wedding day. I'm very, very happily married now. Um, thank God, you know, like yes. it's how you keep your eyes open to loving again. And I lost my mother to ovarian cancer. She was only 58 mm. and my father six months after that to lung cancer. And I realized that, you know, I have seen mortality from the front seat you have taken care of your husband for many, many years. And it is actually an honor and a privilege to be able to take care of them through their most vulnerable moments. Um, may I speak about the, the, um, the jewelry that I have created? Of course. <laughs> actually, like... I, I, I was going to speak about it myself, but I'm, I'm, we're not sure you can really get what this is, but Furley will explain it to you. Okay, when I was gravely ill. Can I, let me read it first. Yes. In Sickness and in Health, Resilience by Furley. Tell them what's, what it's on. Well, actually, right now you can order it through my website and because I've not really fully marketed it until I launch the book that will go together yes, with it for the holidays. Yeah. Now, the story behind this is really very, inst um, very heartwarming and heart-wrenching at the same time because when I was so gravely ill, many of you could relate to this, I could not even make it to the bathroom because I was so short of breath. I felt like I was drowning yeah. and at that moment I said, I wish I had somebody who loves me enough to wipe my ass. And I began to look at the bedpan, not as a toilet, but as a symbol of unconditional love. So in my deathbed, I designed a whole line of jewelry inspired by bedpans. And that's what this is. And it took five <laughs> years for my line to make it to Times Square Billboard and Las Vegas <laughs> Fashion Show Mall. And actually, I, you know, like, let me quickly Go show ahead. them. Okay, it's actually very cute. <laughs> You know, um, you would see it's very nicely made. It, um, the design and the weight of it is solid sterling silver like a Tiffany. Yeah. And the front of it is actually a bed bedpan looking with some hearts in it. And that the back of it is engraved in sickness and in health, resilience by Furley. It is my unconditional love collection. I am donating certain percentage of this proceeds to, um, to pancreatic cancer. And 
the, the whole point about this is that I've literally turned my mess into my message because I realized that all of the things that I've been through in life allowed me to become this creative and this empowering to many people because we all have a story. We all have a very inspiring story inside of us, but it's either you hide in shame because you feel that you might be judged or people would think you're a failure. Hell no. You know? Hell no. Hell no, yes. <laughs> you know, our story is a lesson for somebody to learn from. Something that somebody might be listening to once needs to listen to so that they, be, they can begin to move forward in life. It's, it's not going to be easy. That's why you need a life coach sometimes. Sometimes those people with deep-seated issues may need to even see a psychiatrist. But no judgment there. Some people you have to, to take care of the, the issues that you've had in your childhood or any part of your life. Yeah. But when you're ready to start over in life from this point on and move forward with vibrance, resilience, with confidence, it's great to work with a life coach and be, or, and if you don't have the means to hire a life coach, just surround yourself with people who are not negative. Surround yourself with people who lift yes. you up, people who are positive. There is no time for drama in our lives, no, you know? I got rid of people with drama. I, yeah. I, I've, I've confronted it. I've, I'm not afraid to confront the people who I, I can't deal with the drama anymore. You go, girl. <laughs> You know what I call That's that? That's what Janice said to me. Detox. <laughs> you have to detox from negative people. All yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. I, I just couldn't deal with it. And I said, I'm, I'm not dealing with it. So either you change or, I, or um, I'm gone. And that's what it was. Yes. And, and um, it, it made a big difference. You will find one thing I always share with people, protect your serenity. Protect your peace. Protect your sacred bubble because if you're going to invite people who continue to either dish you, makes you feel terrible, who do not lift you up, it's time to evict them. You know, you don't need a lot of people in your life. You just need the right, the right people, people. The right people who will continue to empower you and bring joy to your life, not drama, right? Yeah, no, the, <laughs> the drama was too much. And it was, it was of, of little things, you know, but it was not, I, was, I just couldn't deal with it. And I got rid of it and, in, and in I, several cases. In, yeah. in that case, that, that's one of the reasons why I love living here in the village. And as you also... Um, surround yourself with people who have great stories, um, great careers, you would find that there's no drama or competition anymore. It's more about, okay, how can we bring value to the world? How can we make a contribution? What is our purpose in life? Some of us find our purpose earlier on, some people much later in life. I found mine about maybe 10 years ago. And I could not be more grateful to actually live a very furlicious life. <laughs> I made that up. I totally yeah. made that up. <laughs> you know what? Is fairly no, is fairly your real name? I mean, or is it? Go ahead. OK. <laughs> Furley is my nickname. That's F-E-R-L-I-E. -E. In the Philippines, everyone has a nickname. My mom, my late mother's name was Fe, F-E which means faith in Spanish, um, but I'm Filipino. And my aunt's name was Erlinda. She combined Fe and Erlinda, so uh, my real name is Ferlinda, and my nickname is Furley. Furlylicious, however, <laughs> <laughs> came about because people say like, oh, you're always this upbeat, positive person. Um, and now I have actually coined Furlylicious to mean heart-centered, soul-inspired, purpose-driven. That is the way I live my life now. I live a very furlicious life. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. And you can help others to live the same kind of life. Yeah. Right? I don't see why yeah. I'm I love florinicious. <laughs>
I'm trying no, to get uh, Actually, uh, I was on the stage Saturday night. At, oh, wow. Yeah, That's with wonderful. The, with the, Congratulations. Uh, showtime. No, uh, they called me up. So I, they said, what's your name? I said, Florence, but you can call me Foxy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Foxy, ooh, yeah. sexy. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You know, that's beautiful. Own it, <clears throat> claim it. Whatever you feel, you know, by the way, this is a great tip. Be mindful of the things that you think about because your thoughts become your reality. You hear that? Your thoughts become your reality. So if you keep thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'll never find anyone. Um, oh my gosh, you know, like uh, there's always negative people out there. I'm not going to go out and circulate. Oh my God. If you are always thinking all the negative thoughts, that's what you're inviting into your space. Think positive thoughts. I always, I, I could look my worst in the morning. Believe me, I don't wake up like this. <laughs> Oh, oh, sure you do. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so don't don't go peeking on my wall. <laughs> and then, but you know, either way, I always look in the mirror and I talk very kindly to myself because more often than not, we're very critical of ourselves. You know, we we are so. If we get a zit in here, we have a wrinkle in here. Like we call people's attention to our flaws. Why can't you embrace your fabulousness? You know, um, it, think of a place or actually look at your body and I'm sure you'll find some, you know, something about yourself that you love, like, you know. I have a very ugly body. Oh, no. But, no, wait, I really do. But it's me and it's okay. See, <laughs> I, I love that very positive attitude but you know what look at your your foxy hair you know? <laughs> and your bright blue eyes and your more co very contagious smile and you have a lot of style foxy girl you know <laughs> think of all of those things talk very kindly to yourself because more often than not we're not so kind when it, we talk about ourselves embrace your fabulousness it's not bragging it's all about celebrating yourself because if you do not love yourself who the hell do you think would love you exactly you know the whole point is love yourself first take care of yourself you know what i'm saying because you would see the energy that you put out there is exactly the energy that you will magnetize into your space very very important be the person that you want to attract you heard that so don't expect to have a like a checklist i want somebody who's handsome thin fit with yeah, money you yeah, know all of those I know, things but be that person that you want to attract into your life because chances are you're going to magnetize the same level of energy um, sometimes, okay, it's not always all the perfect ones, but you will also uh, um, invite the ones that will complement you so that you can be nicely balanced, mm -hmm. right? Yes. You know, the yin yang and yes. all that. Like, yes. so, y y but the whole point is that always show up in your best self and smile. It's the sexiest line <laughs> in our body, <laughs> right? Yes. Right. I, I recently was told by someone, a stranger, she had just met me and her mother was complimenting me on what I was wearing. And she came over to me and she said, I don't care what you're wearing, you smile with your heart. And it, it just Aww. touched me so that because I had seen her father and I, I, I mean, it was just. It just reached me and, and, and touched me but that she said that to me. See, you cannot fake that. No. You cannot fake that. People, you, you know, people can smell, you know, being fake. So just show up genuine and think good thoughts and you, the kindness that you pass on to every stranger, to any person that you meet is such a blessing. And what's great about being kind and, and loving life is that it's it's double the pleasure you feel good doing it and you bring joy and pleasure to others yeah so keep rocking girl yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I keep rocking i do i do my daughter says i live in the moment that's why people are attracted to me Definitely. i don't know you, you know. know what they say you know we are not guaranteed tomorrow no so we're not our present our present is now that's right the best time to live life 
is, is now. now. Right here on Leisure Village uh, West, as you exit, it says it's time to live the rest of your life. It's oh wait, the best, the best of, of your life, life for the rest of your life. life. Yeah. Yes, but every day should be a moment when we live yes. audaciously, boldly, kindly, outrageously. Um, you know, even Marilyn Monroe said, like, you know, it's boring to be not outrageous. You know, like, so be unique. You know, be you. Be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Have you seen that? Like Beam. you, like yeah. you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. This has been so, I, did I tell you that she was inspirational? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, no question about it. So uh, is there anything else you want to add before we say Well, I'm on so Facebook. Long. You know, I'm on yeah. Facebook. Follow me, F-E-R-L-I-E Almonte. And um, that's Furley Almonte. I'd love to be able to connect with you, bring value to you. If, I, if you need a speaker, an entertainer, um, you know, um, somebody of a friend, somebody to light up. Uh, yeah. Well, you're <laughs> my friend. Uh, thank you, thank you. I am very... Um, I'm very honored to be here. I thank you so very much for having me. And if there's any way I could be of service to you, please let me know. You can reach me at furleyalmonte.com. Thank you so thank much. For, this was wonderful to, to listen to you. And, thank you. and I love what you had to say. Thank you. Have that concludes the, uh, talk, the talk for today. And thank you for visiting LKLVW TV. It has been my pleasure to speak to Furley today, and I'm sure it has been, it will be yours when you watch this. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>